Hey guys, welcome back to Red Acres Homestead here on a rainy, wet, nasty Thursday morning. These guys getting a little, little food, a little fresh water this morning. Throw that aside. Just moved them. Ah, they were, uh, they were back there. Just moved them up this morning with the dolly. I'm gonna go up here and turn off the water and then I wanna kinda show you guys. We'll look over there, that's where they've been tractoring that path right there. I'm gonna kinda show you the results of their hard work. I don't know if I should call it the results yet. We got a third, third bucket for our uh, black wool sunflower seeds. We got some seed fermenting in there. Those seeds should probably be ready. They should be good and sprouted like I want them this evening or tomorrow morning. Um, but being cold, it's taking them longer to sprout. The first batch, it, the temperatures were a little higher, so they seemed to sprout faster. Um, but I want to show you guys, this is where this path right along here is where the ducks were tractored the first week they were out on the tractor. And you can see this grass right here. The tractor set right here. And this little spot right there, a little spot right there is really the only damage that there is. All this grass, just like I said it would, the wife was worried. The wife was saying, oh, you know, they've, they've pooped up the grass. It's all covered in mud. They've, they, all the grass is dead and gone. And I said, no, baby, just give it time. And uh, sure enough, it all with a good rain or two it's all all that mud all that poop washed down into there and it matted it and, and all the grass sprung back to life and right here this water washing through here just like I showed you on a previous video is washing all that back that way washing it there into the peach the grape grapevine over there the other peach over there I'm sorry that's a pear I said peach pear peach tree pomegranate another peach tree autumn olive back there on the other side of the pomegranate all that poop all that nitrogen washing into the soil it's great and these guys are just like i said they would tractored all the right up here next to the house and then we made the turn and they're coming down the hill and you can kind of see when i hold it up you can kind of see where the the, the lines are there and there where they've been tractored through there and they've they've eaten some of the grass and they've killed some of the grass but that's okay it'll uh, probably make, it'll make the grass thicker and stronger in the long run so it'll make a more pretty yard better yard lawn I should say uh, that's where they were just yesterday and you see here's a little poop washing into the ground right there there's some over there um, it's all washing into the ground, so this is perfect. Maybe a little leftover feed. But we're going to tractor them over here by the garden beds. We're going to make the loop and come back around. And then go back over there through, through the orchard again. And then we'll probably bring them over here, over into all that. Let them, let them do all that, but wanted to share that with you guys. You know, if you're worried about them tearing up your yard, as long as you move them regularly, these guys get moved at least twice a day. Uh, and at least half a length of the tractor each time. So every day they're getting moved at least one full length of the tractor. Uh, maybe two, maybe three. They get moved at least early in the morning, late at night, at the, very, at the minimum. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll move them early in the morning before work, I'll move them in the evening when I get home from work, and then before I go to bed, I'll move them again that night, uh, even if it's just a few feet, even if it's just three or four feet. Uh, but these guys are getting moved regularly, so they're not totally, they're not just destroying the soil, it's destroying the grass. These guys are having a good time. They got fresh water. They're getting a nice soak in the rain and in the tub, having a good time. Thanks guys for checking us out. Please subscribe to our page. 
uh, we're gonna we're gonna be bringing a video uh, here this week our New Year's resolutions for the homestead not necessarily our personal New Year's resolutions even though they kind of overlap but for the homestead what do we want to accomplish on the homestead this year and then we're gonna be bringing a video we got a we got an addition to the homestead we're gonna be revealing to you guys I promised it about a week or two ago we haven't done it yet but it's coming so keep checking us out guys subscribe check out our videos check out the playlist about this exclusively about the ducks duck days on the homestead you guys have a good one and i hope your 2019 is off to a great start trevor with red acres homestead is out <laughs>